five years ago. Actually, I'll go back a little bit more. I'm going to give you just a little bit of personal history. Seven years ago, tomorrow, in one week, I got married to my beautiful wife that sits over here. At that time, at that time, I hadn't played the drums for over 20 years. I hadn't picked up a pair of sticks. My drums were in storage. I never played. When we got back together, because we were kind of, we dated in high school, she didn't believe that I hadn't been playing. So I heard a neighbor playing the drums, and so it kind of sparked my interest. So I dug my old Tama drum set out of storage, set it up, and here I am, six and a half years later, in the middle of this. And Phoenix Area Drummers is, without a doubt, the greatest group to be a part of. Yeah. Uh, Matt, a couple years ago, Matt called me and he said, hey, he goes, I want you to help me kind of help me run this group and this page. And I was honored to uh, to do that. Uh, about five years ago, after I started playing again, I had this idea in my head of just a, getting a bunch of drummers together and, and playing to some tracks and playing. And I kicked it around and tried to figure out how to do it. And Matt and I started talking about it probably two, two and a half years ago. And uh, we said, we got to make it happen somehow. And uh, we, uh, we got Ben Cole invited uh, uh, in with us. And Ben is uh, a rep for Diodario. So he's uh, Evans Drumhead and Promark Sticks. And, and actually, the sticks that you got today uh, are from Ben Cole. He's the one that had these things printed up with, uh, with, the, with the logo on it. He's been a big help to, for us to get this thing done today. Uh, he was here earlier. I think he went home. Uh, he's not feeling real well, so he uh, he dropped off the stuff and he he split out. But we really, really, really appreciate Ben. He's done a lot for us as a group. He's done a lot for Solid Rock. A few months ago, we got in a big shipment of drum heads and we went over to Solid Rock and we re reheaded every drum kit in the in the building over there. So uh, Ben has been a big supporter of our group, and we're really, really grateful to have him uh, here in Phoenix to help us out. The prizes today, fourth through eighth prizes, and we'll do that at the end, uh, you're going to get a certificate to completely rehead your drum kit and two bricks of sticks. So that's, that's, a, that's a pretty costly prize if you, if you think about it, putting the numbers to it. So thank you to Ben, to ben Cole and Dia Dario. So yesterday when we came in to start setting up, we had to put all these lines out. And Bryce back here in the in the back, he's running the board. Bryce dug right got right down on the ground with me and helped me put all the tape out. We we uh, measured it all out and got all these spaces put out. We've got about 12 or 13 people that signed up that didn't show up, and because of that, we're, there's a few empty spaces. This is year one. We're gonna do year two, and if we want to make it grow, and we're gonna we're gonna make this an annual event, and. And uh, we want to outgrow this building this year. So we want to be someplace else next year that's going to give us more room and give us uh, the ability to have more people. So uh, thank you for every one of you that have signed up, that uh, have got donations, that have helped us. The reason we're, we decided, originally my idea was just to get a bunch of guys together and play. And then we thought, as Matt and I talked, we decided let's, let's make it, Let's raise some money for some kind of cause. And kind of, we kind of stumbled on, on Solid Rock. And it just made sense because of Solid Rock's uh, commitment to, to kids, to youth, and their commitment obviously to music. Uh, and being drummers and music, it just made perfect sense for us to, to, to make them the beneficiaries of of what we are doing today. Solid Rock is a great organization. Uh, I got a, a grandson sitting over here next to my wife. He, he takes lessons over at Solid Rock. She brings them all the way over here and lets them drop them off and he has lessons. He still doesn't have a drum set at his house, which doesn't make a whole lot of sense based on the number of drum sets that I have at my house. <laughs> Thank you, Todd. But, uh, but we're going to change that. And I, I have a kit for him. I'm going to give him my original Tama 
1980 Imperial car and set it up at his, at his house for him. Because he's, he's been practicing these songs, but he can't practice them at home. So, uh, so he needs to be able to do that. So as we think about drummers that are just maybe a couple months in, and then we have guys in here, I know, like Dwayne has played for at least five years. <laughs> so I want to kind of do a little bit of a, a, a let's, let's break it down a little bit. If you've played less than one year, less than one year, how about standing up? So Jackson is it. And Chuck Shank here, he played, he played less than a year also. So we got two kids, and we were hoping, and I'm really happy that we have some youth in here with us today, because, because the youth, they're our future. That is what, these guys are what's going to make drumming continue into the future. So we have to get youth involved in this, in this crowd. Uh, it's too easy to get replaced by a machine today, and we need to make sure that these kids are learning it. So these guys have played less than one year. Okay, anybody played less than two years? Oh, my wife, imagine that. So I got her, I got her guitar lessons, or guitar lessons, I got her drum lessons. And by the way, if you tried to do this with a room and guitar player, would it work? No. Absolutely not. Drummers rule, absolutely. So I got her guitar, or guitar. I said it again. I got a drum lessons a couple, a year and a half ago at Christmas, almost two years ago at Christmas, and I told her if she stuck with it for a year, that I'd buy her a drum kit. And so she stuck with it, and she stuck it to me. So I had to buy a drum kit for her. Uh, less than three years. Four. Singing, right? So we not only have less than four years, but now we have two girls in the room. That's another something that's important is to get women involved and girls involved in this practice drumming. All right, who's played less than 10 years? And we got Colin, too. I hope you played less than 10 years. This young man over here, if you played more than 10 years, you started pretty young. How old are you? Oh, there we go. All right, anybody played 15 years or longer? That's going to be most of you guys. Okay, who's played more than 20 years? 25? 30? And start sitting down if you haven't played more than this. 35? 40? 45? 50? We're standing in the crowd. 55. He's back there. That's Mr. Axis, by the way. So, Ken here, who I'm going to introduce in a few minutes, is, uh, is making a little switch on his pedal. And these guys came over to, to talk to him. And, and Joe here up front, yesterday as we were setting up, he came in, he came in with Ken and he says, Hey, I got my drum kit in the car, can I play? <laughs> oh, absolutely. So Joe, they wheeled, we brought his drum kit in, set, he got it all set up, and... Uh, he made a trip over to see Ken, and he's going to wind up playing in a drum rumble. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. and maybe we're talking maybe next year. After this might, he might help us out. We uh, help us with some sponsorship and help us out a little bit. Yeah. So uh, we're we're grateful that you guys are here today. We're we're happy that you can see what the Phoenix area has for a group of of drummers. Uh, I, like I said, I can't express enough the gratitude. For all of you guys, and not just coming here today, but for what everybody does for each other in this group. And the Facebook page started as a Facebook page, and, and we're grateful for Matt for having the thought yeah. to start a Phoenix drummer, yeah. uh, Phoenix area drummer Facebook page. And I'm sure he probably had the idea, and I'm sure he hoped that it would do something more, but he probably really didn't realize that it was going to become what it has become. Because not only are we just a Facebook page now, but we do clinics, and we have we have swap meets, and we've had a lunch or two, and we and we're doing this this drum rumble, and so it's been a great thing. And what really 
makes me happy. What the part that I really love is when I see a post on a Friday night and somebody says, Hey, I'm at Cliff Castle and there's no hi hat clutch here and I don't have one with me. Somebody always pipes in and says, I got one, I'll be there in half an hour. And that is what makes this group great. The camaraderie and the support that everybody has for one another. And so that is what, that's, that's what really is heartwarming to me. That's why I love being a part of this group. Check my notes. Here. <laughs> I don't want to forget it. <laughs> so, everybody knows, most of you, if you're on the pad page, you know that I'm obsessed. <laughs> I, I, I have a sickness. And, and literally, when I started playing drums, Six and a half years ago, I owned one Tama Imperial Tartar drum set that came with the snare, the snare that came with it, and the set of cymbals that were all late 70s, early 80s. I had a Sabian cymbal that was like from the first year. That is the extent of the drum equipment that I owned six and a half years ago. And so, and those of you that have seen my stuff know that, that I'm a, I'm a, a holic. <laughs> But uh, DW is kind of, I've kind of gravitated towards the company. Uh, I, I really like their product. I, uh, it's quality. And the company is run by some really, really good people. And uh, I've become good friends with uh, numerous people that work at DW. And so I called DW and I said, I called my buddy and I said, look, we're going to do this drum rumble. And uh, I want to give away some good prizes. And so uh, they really, really hooked me up and set me up for these prizes that we're going to be, be able to give away today. Uh, so uh, shout out to DW. There's obviously, there's nobody here. I guess I'm the pseudo DW uh, rep today. But, but uh, shout out to them. Yeah. Pop, pop, pop. Just good, good people. Hey, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, re, I'm gonna uh, interject and to show what a great guy Randy is. Randy paid for those prizes out of his own pocket. Yeah, nice. Yeah. I want, I wanted this event to be good, and I wanted this event to raise money, and I was hoping that by putting some, some decent prizes up there, that it would give people motivation to try to. To raise, to raise some good funds. Uh, it's all about what we can give to these people next door because they provide a great service to, uh, to teens. And speaking of that, I'm gonna introduce Sabrina here. Now Sabrina is, she started coming here as a, as a teenager and now she spends a lot of time here. So Sabrina is gonna come up and she's gonna talk a little bit about Solid Rock and about what Solid Rock does. Sabrina, here you go. Hello everyone. Uh, first off, thank you everyone for being here. Um, if you don't know what Solid Rock is, we are a team center open Monday through Friday from 2 o'clock to 8 p.m. Um, we offer services to um, the youth ages 12 through 20, and um, in those services, we offer free lessons of a bunch of things. We have a dance studio, we have an art studio, we have a full recording studio, um, we have a film and photography classes, and we also have musical lessons, um, piano, vocals, guitar, um, bass, and drums. And um, it's just a really cool organization, and. Um, it goes deeper than the lessons that are being given there. Uh, I came in two years ago. I was 19, so kind of at the edge of it. But the first thing I got was a drum lesson. And I don't know, I fell in love. And it was really cool to experience that. And I come from a home life where my mom's not actively in my life. I don't have a dad. Um, and I was also battling my first bout of cancer at the time. So 
I didn't know how to adjust to this community and they've taught me a lot of things, especially just about like what genuine love is coming from like never having that. Um, it's just been really inspirational and transitioning from coming into like this, I felt like, you know, just this timid person, like kid at the point. I feel like they've really helped push me into this like adult life that I have ahead of me. I'm 21 now. Um, I'm going through my third diagnosis of cancer currently and I don't think it'd be possible for me to actually be standing here if it wasn't for me walking in those doors two years ago and the community that's there and the support and just um, everything that they offer. So I just wanna tell you a little bit about that because that's what you guys are raising money for. And it's not just my life. Um, I'm currently now the film director. They put me on staff so I transitioned from learning things to um, giving back as well. I also give drum lessons and it's really cool because a lot like my story There's these kids that come in that don't feel safe anywhere else and a lot of them will say that is their home That's the place they feel safe. It's what gets them through the day um, And it's it a lot of them too um, like myself Everyone likes to give back as well. And it's just really cool to see these kids just transition in their lives You know being broken to just seeing joy come out of them and finding things that they love and uh, another thing that it, you know, hope we like, we just say try something once pretty much, you know, like you never know if you're gonna like it. I didn't know I could drum at all. I didn't know I could do film and photography and I have that passion. And it's just really cool to see these young people just find their place and just give them the right tools um, and opportunities to grow as musicians and just as people of this world. So thank you Phoenix Area Drummers and everybody here that's participated, Matt and Randy, for hosting this, and uh, hope you guys have a good rumble. Thank you, Dina. One thing at the very beginning I forgot, and you probably saw me you come in, but there are some foamy earplugs out on the desk in the front. So if you need a pair of earplugs, please go out there because it will get loud in here. So protect yourself. Don't be like me. I wear hearing aids now because I didn't protect myself. So what? Yeah, exactly. I'm, I know most of you, especially the the guys that are my vintage or older, where I can't. We're we're in that same boat, Dwayne. So yeah, see, so so put some earplugs in. It it really you'll still be able to hear. You'll still be able to hear the music and know what's going on, but you'll protect yourself a little bit. All right, so let's get this thing going. So we have. Mr. Ken Mary. Yeah. Ken is a Phoenix resident. He's one of us. But he's also a little more than that. He's also a, a great touring drummer. He, he's worked for a long time in a lot of bands. He actually played with Alice Cooper. His band Flotsam and Jetsam right now is, is, uh, has been out. They, got a, they released an album here just recently. Ken's a monster drummer. Don't feel bad when he plays <laughs> because you're sitting at your drum kit. You know what? And that's the other thing, too. It doesn't matter how good you play. We wanted you here. Jackson over here has played just for a couple months. He's just barely learning. But he's willing to sit there and try. And that's what it's all about. If there's a part of a song that you can't play today, don't play it. Just stop. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. The important thing is that you're here and that we're, we're doing this together. And uh, we don't want, we don't, my hope is that nobody, somebody did not come because they felt inadequate. Because that, there's never a feeling with that. And that's another plus about drummers. Because we don't make each other feel inadequate. We should make each other feel, we should lift each other up. It's not a competition. There's enough love to go around. So, so if, you, if you're stuck on a part during this, during these songs and you can't play it, who cares? Don't play it. Play something you can't play. So, uh, but let's bring Ken out. Uh, Ken's gonna kind of take over the show for the rest of for the rest of the day. I'll come back in the evening, in the afternoon when we're all done playing, and uh, we'll finish things off. But, uh, ladies and gentlemen, welcome, Mr. Ken Mary. Thank you so much. 